Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Legacy of Cain, and let's continue the game where we last left off, which is trying to defeat Janos' Ah, damn it, we're so close. Raziel, finish it before he returns. <laughs> oh. You should have listened to me. Now it is finished, and thus a new epic has its beginning. However far you stray, you will always return to me. Surrender, Raziel. Never! <laughs> Your efforts are wasted, Raziel. That weapon you bear, however endowed, remains only a wraith blade. It cannot touch me. I will not be your prisoner. You have no choice. Your task is fulfilled. Cain has been cleared from the board, and this chamber made ready for my more malleable servants. There is nothing more for you to do. I refuse to bend my will. It has always been my will you satisfy, never your own. You parasitic fraud. You are forced to imprison me because I possess free will. You possess nothing. As you are undying, your soul cannot be returned to the wheel. But it may console you to abide here in eternity with me. Mobius, my good servant, I call you to the place of our first meeting. Return to me here. Eldar and Mobius spoke too soon. Cain is still alive, although it's never completely explained, just as Cain said that why is he still alive? Deal with the Hilden. Well, one down. Oh. 
God damn. Game one. Definitely nearing the end game. Well, we won't be completing this let's play in this video, but there aren't gonna be as many. There are still few things. I strongly drawn, compelled even, not to linger here, but to go to the vampire citadel at once. Yeah, it always did wonder me that why did Kane survive? God damn it. And there is one theory that it was meant to be explained in the sequel because, well, I'm gonna save that for the end credits. Same way that Raziel came. Oh crap, now I have to fight the Hildens. It's again a bit of an annoyance to fight Hildens. Can't use the telekinesis on them. Well, at least it was only one. I don't even know, can you draw blood from them? You can at least charge the Reaver. I don't think you can because the game has left you the blood files. Also, it's a bit annoying that you can't even, can't even juggle them.
do wonder if any of the... Any of these reapers will have different kind of effect on the Hilden. Well, we're almost out. Oh, well. Well, you guys are at least a little relatively easier to fight. that needs to be done. Maybe I need to open the door. Now this was Raziel's. Ah, these are still up. Oh, maybe I need to open the door. to find out. Symbol. Ah. Oh. Had to hold. I thought it was gonna ask me, do I want to leave? Sort of. I knew what ominous hour this was in Nosgoth's history, for here was the event that had shaped my entire existence. I had cast my fate, refusing the sacrifice, damning the pillars, and founding my doomed empire upon their ruins. I would raise the Salafan priests to be my closest lieutenants, and would one day cast the strongest of them, my servant Raziel, into the abyss, dealing one last hand to play against fate. But in the end, had it made any difference? Had I misread the signs, as Mobius told me, in my arrogance, had I missed my cast at destiny? Citadel. Thank <laughs> you. 
fucked. I can't even see the shadow. Actually, let's avoid these guys. I think we just need to go here. Yeah, we're definitely closing the end game. There is not much left in here. Oh, sorry about that, my dog is staring at me. So he wants some attention. So let's continue a little bit further before I cut the video. I'm gonna See if we actually enter the final boss fight arena and then I'm gonna cut the video and then in the next video we will finish. I would, but my little doggy is staring at me and he seems to be wanting some attention. And if I don't give him the attention, he's gonna bark. Yes, we're definitely at the end of the game. I remember this part. This is the final boss arena. The Hilden are merely an inconvenient consequence. They will be dealt with in time. It is a small price to pay for Kane's death. You're a bit premature. Kane! Is there a crack in your omniscience after all, Mobius? First, your omniscience, and now your powers. You're slipping badly. This is not possible. The part of me that staff affected is no longer in its place. But you already knew that, didn't you? I always was considered heartless. And now, Mobius, it is time. To kill me? Again? Your only solution? For every problem, kill. This is not a debate. You see, this time, you have nothing that I want. <gasps> you think this will matter? I serve one who has power over life and death. Then go to him. <laughs> I am his obedient. His devoted servant. Soon, all pain will fade, and my master will bring me life once more. Master, my apologies. A momentary oversight. Somehow Cain still lives and has unexpectedly dispatched me. Make use of your good servant and <laughs> go to your master then. I release you to the wheel. Oh, God, no. Do you see it now? The monster that you served. Is this what you imagined when you worshipped it? Mobius was a good servant, but he was of no further use. His long life had run its course. You see, even when you rebel, you are doing my will. Perhaps, but something has changed, hasn't it? You didn't foresee Cain's return. You have both traced your paths along the wheel. This is where the journey ends. You haven't the means to kill either one of us. Ah, but you can be stopped. And you will come to understand how oblivion can be a mercy. You and Cain will spend eternity buried here together, praying for the merciful release of a death that will never come. But I 
was armed with newfound knowledge, and it burned within me. Redeemer and Destroyer. Mobius had never seen his master until the Soul Reaver purified his sight. Even the ancient vampires had no idea what it was they so righteously worshipped. You must unite what is the All the conflict and strife throughout history, all the fear and hatred, served but one purpose, to keep my master's wheel turning. All souls were prisoners, trapped in the pointless round of existence, leading distracted, blunted lives until death returned them, always in ignorance, to the wheel. The coin is still turning. But what hope had there been? One cannot fight the unseen. Only then will the sign of balance be armed for his true endeavor. Despair, Raziel. There is no escape. It was then I knew what I had to do. I alone could end this. Cain. Do you so enjoy death? Yes. No! Yes! This is how... No! Raziel! The Soul Reaver, pure of all corruption. This is what it is for. This is what I am for. The two become one. Both Soul Reavers, together. And the sign of balance is healed. And I am not your enemy, not your destroyer. I am, as before, your right hand, your sword. No, Razia, this can't be the way. And now you will see the true enemy. And it was then I saw. So I am revealed to you at last. What in hell? I am the origin of life, the devourer of death. I am the hub of the wheel, the purifying cycle to which all souls must be drawn. Had I condemned Raziel to this nightmare when I cast him into the abyss? You may ponder the futility of your ambitions as you spend a deathless eternity beneath a mountain of rubble. You and your soul reaver will go equally mad as the eons pass. The Citadel of the Apostles will become your living tomb. Your words are heartening. <laughs> For you would not fear us unless we could truly do you harm. No! You are nothing! False God! <laughs> this is the end. The final turn of your wheel. Defeat in the wheel. Okay, well, I'm gonna cut the video here now. So, when we come back, ladies and gen gentlemen, the final boss battle against the Elder and the conclusion of Let's Play Legacy of Kane's Defiance. But that'll be in the next video. Until then, as always, I'll see you when I see you. Later.